Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a visualization I did for the time signatures of the song Schism by Tool. Let's go. The very first thing that I wanted to do was find a good source of data. So I found some sheet music for the drum part of the song on MuseScore from this user Oscar J08. And the sheet music contains the bars and also the time signatures for those bars, which was the source of the information that I used. So following through this, I was able to locate each of the bars and determine the time signature. And then I created a data table of the bar. So one, two, three, four, five, et cetera. And then the numerator and denominator of the time signature in its raw form. So six, four, and then 13, eight, six, four, et cetera. And then I converted all of that to sixteenths. And uh, then I have a column here for determining whether or not that value is different from the one that precedes it. And I'll get to that in a minute, but I use it for part of the visualization. So if you'd like to get your hands on the data, I have it available on my GitHub. Also on the GitHub repo is uh, the set of information, the, the files, et cetera, for the Quarto markdown file that I use to generate the, uh, the output. So there's a tool.qmd file. You can get that. There's also the tool.html file, which is what creates the, the end result. And the data file is in there as well. So we can take a look at that really briefly. There's not a lot to it, but let's take a look. So now we're in the RStudio IDE and I have the uh, QMD file pulled up. And at the very top, there's a header. If you're not familiar with Quarto Markdown, there's a little block up here that tells it uh, the title and then a few settings. So here I just suppress the warning and echo. And then we have uh, some headers and then I have links to the source, the data, and then the files. Below that, I'm calling up the library Tidyverse, which contains a lot of great useful tools. And then I read in my data file. Below that, there is the visualization code. And I'm using ggplot for this, specifically the uh, ggplot2 library inside of Tidyverse. And then I define the name of the input here. That's the tibble that I'm using as an input, then the X and the Y. And then we're using the uh, geom point for the point uh, visualization. I also assign two colors using that different column from the data set. So what this does is it indicates every time a time signature changes. And so I just wanted to use that as a little stylistic way to point that out. I'm using the uh, theme void to get rid of all of the, the bars and labels and everything just to make it a really clean visualization. And then I also get rid of the legend here. So if you're new to R, maybe you can use this and find something interesting. Let's jump back over to the final product and see how this all turned out. So here we have the final result. It's just a really clean, simple page. We have the uh, descriptive text and then the links to the everything. And below that is the visualization. So this is what Schism looks like if you track all of the time signature changes in 16ths. So the X axis here is actually the uh, bar ID. So bar one, two, three, four, five, et cetera. Each point represents a bar. And then the Y axis, the vertical here, is the time signature in 16ths. So the lowest would be, you know, zero sixteenths, and then all the way up to something like 54 sixteenths, I think. Uh, that's what that looks like. It's really interesting that there's a string of the same time signature, and then a, a little jump, and then a little jump back, and then a jump back to the second one, and then back to the original one. But then we get this really interesting period of a lot of wild time signature changes. So it's just really interesting to see this as a visualization because it very clearly highlights that about three quarters of the way into the song, uh, Danny Carey, the drummer, is just all over the place. And then he settles back in and then he drops to a different time signature here a little bit slower. So that's it for today. I'd love to hear any feedback you have on this, any corrections or any ideas on what I could do next. And if you have more information on other sources for this type of data, Put it in the uh, comments and I'd love to see it.